Kato Suwa New, please subscribe, please like, please share. So today I'm going to talk about seven things that I've learned from Arab, Arabs as a Ugandan housemaid. Seven of them. And these things are really, really good because it's their way of living. It's their way how their life moves from different generations to different generations. So you can wonder but they do practice them. I've really learned a lot from them. Number one is monthly shopping. These people can do monthly shopping. They're the type of people who go to the supermarket and do monthly shopping for the whole house. Food stuffs, if it's baby clothes, if it's uh, ceramics, uh, uh, liquids for ceramics, they'll do a monthly shopping. In most countries, people don't do monthly shopping. Like where I come from, it's you find very few people who do monthly shopping. Very few. But here, it's a must for most of the Arab people to do a monthly shopping in their houses. It's a must. And I really love that. Because here, in, even in my house, it's done every month. When their salary comes, they do a monthly shopping. Number two, credit cards. The order of the day here in Arab people is credit cards. They do everything using credit cards. If it's payment, it's credit cards. If it's purchasing anything, it's credit cards. It's really good because it's very hard to find an Arab person with money cash. They normally use credit cards and I really love that about them because using credit cards, it's, it avoids safety. It avoids problems. It's very good. I've really learned about that about from them and I'm like when I go back to my country I'll do the same thing and get used or practice the use of credit cards. Number three, the use of uh, machines. Do you know that in our country where I come from it's very rare to find people who use washing machines. Very rare. But here in Arabs it's a must for every house. Whether it's a small house, whether it's a big house, to learn how to use a machine, all to use a machine. So I've learned to use washing machines. They have dryers, they have machines that clean utensils, they have machines that clean windows, they have machines that clean floors. Woo, wow. I've really learned so much about the different machines to be used in their houses. Can you believe that? Hey, I've learned that. So, number four, you'll never go to an Arabic home and you don't find lemon, you don't find spices, you don't find chili, you don't find olive oil. Have, have, I have learned to use lemon as a dairy item, I've learned to eat chili, I've learned to use spices, I've learned to use olive oil. They will normally use olive oil in cooking, they use olive oil in their hair, they use olive oil in their skins, they use lemon, they eat it, they use chili. Whoa! I've learned all that. I never knew that those things, because in our country, you can find very rare people who use olive oil, but here every house is supposed to have olive oil, every house is supposed to have lemon, every house is supposed to have spices, <laughs> in every house. And number five, I've learned cooking Arabic food. I've learned different types of cooking. I've learned to cook marugug, to cook idam, to cook hala, to cook hushus, to cook so many to mention but a few. And those ideas that I've learned in cooking, wow, I'm going to take them and practice them in my, in my country and make a, a big restaurant because I've really learned a lot from their cooking. Number six, I've learned to fold clothes, I've learned to arrange a house, I've learned uh, to organize a house. What, what do I mean by that? When we wash, there is where we fold clothes, there is where you are supposed to fold a shirt, there is where you are supposed to fold a trouser, there is a way you are supposed to arrange the house, there is where you are supposed to clean. Whoa, I've really learned all that from them. And in the process that you do those things, they make you to become an organized person, a neat person, a clean person. Very, very good. Very, very good. And number eight, have learned to keep 
the house maybe i should say hygiene keeping the house as in you have to be cleaning the house all the time where i come from we normally clean the house in the morning and we never clean it it, it again when we clean our kitchens we normally clean them after doing work but here you're supposed before you go to sleep you're supposed to clean the kitchen it's supposed to be clean it's supposed to be neat the whole house is supposed to be neat the bedrooms should be neat the cupboards should be neat the wardrobes should be neat everything should be neat i've really learned that about them in a nutshell those things that i've learned and those things that i've shared to you, to you i think they'll also help you because through the things we have learned we can practice them in our country where we come from because if you learn how to do a monthly shopping it saves a lot because the month can end when you don't have money but your month can go through because you have you have done a monthly shopping when you learn to use credit cards the credit cards are it's the order of the day we shall avoid those things of safety when we have uh when you learn to use the technology and also take it to your country it's also a good thing it saves a lot of energy washing ironing learning how to cook uh arranging the house all those things helps you when you go back to your country to practice them and put them in your house so these are some some of the things that i've learned from my Arab people or from my Arab bo bosses or from my Arab homes that I've traveled to in different places oh, and they are really so good so thank you so much for listening to me uh, you can comment and tell me what you want to talk about you can comment and you tell me what you think about the video you can subscribe thank you so much for listening to me hope to see you next Thank you.